All day long, we are bringing you stories about how you can take control of your digital privacy. As a consumer, businesses want to know, of course, all about you in order to get you to buy from them. And they do it by using your phone. Consumer watchdog Jen Stratham shows you how it works. Businesses see this as a way to get you to spend cash. New technology allows them to track your shopping behavior. I'm currently getting um, various pop-ups telling me that I'm near uh, certain stores and that I should stop in. Jason believes the ads are coming from a credit card app on his phone. If you haven't seen these ads yet, experts say you will. But there is a way to limit what you see. On an Android device, go to Google Settings, then click on Ads, and then opt out of interest-based ads. If you have an iPhone and iOS 7, you want to go to your settings page. Then you're going to look for privacy. Once you're here, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to click on advertising. Then you're going to see something called limit ad tracking and you can actually turn it on or off. This limits the number of ads that you may see. Now Apple says you're still going to probably get a number of ads delivered right to your smartphone, but they just may not be based on things that you're searching for. They may not be as relevant to you. Well, very few people are actually getting ads targeted to their smartphone right now. Experts say expect that to increase in the very near future. Now, coming up tonight at 11, I'm going to show you the state of tracking right now with your smartphone and where things are going to be going in the future. I'm News Channel 5 Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman fighting for you. From tracking on your cell phone to private browsing on your computer, even the latest on government snooping. We have one page you can go to on our website. There you'll find out all of the latest, including tips you can use right now to protect your privacy. Just go to WPTV.com slash privacy. And be sure to join us tonight at 5. We'll have our experts in the studio answering your questions online and on the air.